also launching a paper of our own. It's this one here. It's called Europe's Sustainability Puzzle, Broadening the Debate. From our work, let me just say, because we've been part of this journey pretty much from day one, it is very clear that for the SDGs to be successful, it needs to be a holistic policy and that we will need to practice sustainability across the board. From rising inequality and intolerance to armed conflict and environmental degradation, our world faces grave challenges. In my view, the problem is not making a good analysis of what the problem is and how, where the solutions could be. The problem will be mobilizing society to actually embrace this fundamental change as an opportunity rather than as a threat. If you can concretely show how people can be part of the solution in a way they can manage and they can digest, that might be hard, but it's something they can do, they will want to be part of it. We probably will have to start with social sustainability as a guarantee for people to understand they can embrace this without great risk to their own position. I'm a firm believer, and I must admit that circular economy has become kind of an obsession to me because I see so many opportunities there. Circular economy is a industrial lack of climate policy and it's more sustainable way to define market economy. I must admit that I'm a little bit worried that this positive opportunity may turn out to be a divisive issue if all of our member states don't realize how much they should invest in education and reskilling people. Third element, which um, may, be, may be seen a little bit critical and some of you may don't like when I raise this issue, but it's fiscal sustainability. Very often uh, I get the impression that everything else is important except fiscal responsibility. If you raise your internal body temperature by two degrees, you clearly have fever, you feel uneasy. Some of you may have fever here, and you will actually uh, infect others. So get out of here. <laughs> 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 but uh, if you add four or five degrees, you are dead. And this is precisely what happens to the planet. These three waves are changing the fabric of societies. And this is change, has changed, it is not coming. This is already here. And the stress you see is because of this clash between the fact that our image of our societies and of our populations is guided by the old paradigm forged over the last hundred years in Europe, while the reality that we are in has already shifted from there. What we see right now, and this is true for the entire industry, there is a concerted increasing effort from the industry. How can we now go further to really meet the Paris Protocol? If we further want to reduce CO2, this needs billion investments in research. And here comes a collaboration piece between the EU Commission and the industry in because we see opportunities in research to change the cracker landscape, but that will take another five to six years. Europe's at the top of the list because Europe's the only place in the world that combines the basic idea of high productivity and prosperity with social justice through a social market or social democratic idea and environmental sustainability. Is Europe leading adequately on this? No. Uh, is it leading by example? Yes. More or less. Could it do more internally? A lot more. It could be coherent. That Maybe that's a big stretch. But Europe should have a plan for decarbonizing the energy system. This is very simple, not just goals, a plan. Europe should take a lead on sustainable agriculture because you're part of the global value chain that is leading to deforestation all over the world, mainly importing. So at Kaitro, we're bringing a high-tech solution to the hospitality industry. We're using image processing and machine learning to automate the entire process. 
Essentially what we do is we collect these images and we annotate them to be able to feed them to an algorithm that will automatically determine what food item is seen in your trash bin. For our customers, we give them dashboards that show them exactly what they're throwing away, how much they're throwing away, we tie the cost to it, and we show them where the main areas of food waste is occurring. Sustainable development and sustainability is this tricky thing. In many ways, these words mean absolutely everything and nothing at the same time. To me, sustainability is this umbrella term that encompasses a whole range of tools and ideas that allow us to question the fundamental assumptions around how we make decisions, to enable us to make better decisions, individually and collectively, for ourselves, for the planet, for everyone. Education is more than just a keyword or SDG4. Every single person plays a key role in moving forward with the SDGs, but in order to be able to do that, they need to be empowered to be able to do that. Now, education is what does that. It enables us to make better decisions for ourselves and for our communities. So without education, none of the other goals are possible. The right scale when we talk about innovation and, and technology is either the city, uh, because that's where uh, most day-to-day -day business and interactions happen, or Europe, because if we want to influence technology development on a global scale, um, it is only at this, uh, at this scale that we can do it. Everyone likes to talk about partnerships and ecosystems of innovation, but what would it look like to start saying, we're also going to have some measurements for emissions that actually capture whether the ecosystems we're setting up, the partnerships, the PPPs we set up, are symbiotic, are mutualistic, so the rewards to all this public investment that we're asking for across Europe is also not just sharing risks, but also rewards. The real um, question is, how do we do this together in ways that are a bit more a thorn in the side of the system and not just sort of coming out with some great ideas of one company's doing that, one company's doing something else, but how can we fundamentally transform the system to be more directed, more mission-oriented, catalyzing bottom-up experimentation, but also really fundamentally changing the deal, the social compact between public, private, and third sector organizations. 